Hello everybody and welcome to my video, Getting Tidier. I hope you're well and I hope you've had a lovely week. Uh, thank you for your messages to check whether I was all okay because I've not posted for a couple of days. Uh, it's just going back to work after being off for the Easter holidays uh, has just meant that I've just been doing really long hours and it's been quite sort of crazy just trying to get on top of everything. Um, so I've just really been sort of settling back into my routine um, the last few days I've just done long days at work so Tuesday my daughter went back to school and I posted a video on that day and then Wednesday I worked between the school hours so I worked from around nine to half past three and then Thursday I had a lovely morning at a museum um, so that was really nice so I will add a couple of pictures so you can see that at the beginning um, and spent some time just looking at their arrangements and then I came home for lunch and got on with some work which you can see here so one of my videos goes a bit weird it was supposed to be five times faster so I always tend to go five times faster but for some reason it just all went a bit disjointed and then yesterday I worked from around eight o'clock in the morning had a short break for lunch. Well, actually, I did, went and did some work at a local library. I met a work colleague. Rather than going right into um, HQ, I thought, oh, actually, we could just meet in the local library. So we did some work at the local library together. I came home and had lunch with my husband, and then I worked until half five-ish. Um, the last meeting of the day, I was holding my head a bit. Um, it's funny how people are with... Um, yeah... I'm always a bit wary because someone said to me, oh, you've got to be careful not to go into too much detail. And that's right. I mean, the chances of anybody knowing me on here, um, obviously I would never talk about, you know, confidential information, um, but just, you know, you never know the chances of, um, yeah, someone picking your video up and watching it and thinking that is about them when it actually isn't about them. Um, so yes, yeah, so my last meeting of the day, I could have ended up with a bit of a headache, but I just kept thinking, oh, I'm going out tonight with my friends. I'm going out tonight with my friends. So that kind of kept me sane. Um, that was quite nice. And so my dad came round, which is part of the video you'll see. I was looking through the cupboards and seeing what stuff I could get rid of. And um, I've got this sort of hot chocolate set, which I've had a couple of years, and it's due to run out in April. And my dad said, oh, well, I've actually, I got one like that. Uh, for Christmas and actually it's really nice mm -hmm. so we opened all that up together and my daughter made us all a hot chocolate so that was nice so I'm glad that I mentioned that to my dad and we've got a couple more hot chocolates in there and then I'll be able to get rid of the set and that was taking up quite a lot of space in the cupboard so that was really good uh, so yeah and also on the Friday last night I went out for a meal with my friend and we went for a couple of drinks which was nice and then her husband came and picked us up which was really good so also in this video, as well as working in the kitchen, and I'm sorry it goes a bit dark, but you're going to be really pleased when I get my light stands. Uh, so I've been getting a small amount of money from YouTube. Can you believe that? I can't quite believe that because I've got nearly 2,000 followers. I mean, it's just incredible, really. I mean, it's just me just, you know, trying to sort stuff out. And you all helping me do that with all your tips and advice and guidance. Um, but yeah, because of the small amount of money that I've been getting from YouTube, I thought, oh, I could buy a light stand that would make my videos better. So that's what I'm saving up for at the moment. So um, I'll, I'll be able to buy one of those. So I'm looking forward to that. That will mean that my videos won't be so dark. Um, it's a bit of a pain when you can't quite see them. And somebody said the other day, oh, I nearly clicked off your video because it was all dark. But in the rest of this video, I do a bit more work on the spare room. Yes, the nightmare spare room. I've got boxes of cables. Can you believe I've got like the world's biggest bag of cables in the shed? And now I've got another box of cables. I found two pairs of trousers uh, that will fit my husband perfectly, which I think he'd forgot about, which is good. He can wear them for work. I found a birthday present for somebody that I forgot to give them. And then time went on, time went on, and then I couldn't find where I'd actually put it but it ended up in the spare room. Um, so I was doing just a general sort out of that and I've got a couple of bags of rubbish and broken things and things that I just don't want anymore. I've also got loads of suitcases. Um, the biggest suitcase um, was part of a set that I got for my wedding present for my sister. And um, 
because of the because it's the biggest one it's t it, if you fill it it goes over the size allocation that you're allowed you know the weight allocation so we never use it it's just full of stuff and I won't get rid of it because I feel like oh my sister got me that for part of my wedding present so there's a few different angles from my room um, a couple of people said oh your that room looks quite big um you know it, it looks like you've got quite a lot of space in there yeah it's a double room probably a bit bigger than my daughter's room and it used to be our old bedroom um uh, all the furniture i actually bought from some money that was left for my uncle um i got it from a shop that my dad used to work at so it's like the um, the bed the wardrobe and two chest of drawers so you'll see me tidying up the the bedroom that's become the dumping ground Honestly, there's so much to do and sometimes I do sort of go in there and I think, how can I even start? And also, I just was waiting for me and my husband to, to work on it together. But the problem is, he gets really affected by the dust and there's like, you know, you starve stuff up so easily in there. Um, so I decided that I really needed to crack on with that by myself. And I know a number of you have been interested in seeing the spare bedroom because I've talked about it, how it's a dumping ground. Someone did say, can we see a full overview of it? And I did laugh and say, well, once I've tidied it up a bit, there's a lot for me to do there. There's lots piled up on the floor. Um, there's an awful lot to sort out. So this here is just in front of the doorway. And what I always used to try and do was just keep it clear that so if the door is left open it doesn't look like piles and piles and piles of stuff everywhere which it still does look like piles and piles of stuff but it's a little bit better so um you'll see that i sort some through some things that angles i'm just trying to do what i consider quick wins so the things that are on the floor which are broken um if there's wrapping paper that's all screwed up stuff that can go in the bin stuff that i did want to keep but now i've changed my mind and i want to get rid of it so I was just literally going through all the things which can be quickly put away as a priority. Then I moved the angle slightly over and one of my curtains is broken so it doesn't run properly on the on the line there, the, the curtain rail. Um, I want to keep the paper because I like the paper, the wallpaper, but I do want to paint all the walls. Um, so the walls were previously whitewashed and some of the paint above the picture rail started coming off. So I would like to do that all again. We sometimes have my cousin come and stay. Um, they, My husband and my cousin do a cycle ride together. And uh, each year I think, oh, let that room be all decorated. And then when my cousin comes to stay, it's not going to be in the same state as what it was before. But we just don't get round to it because there's other jobs in the house. And you can't decorate while there's everything piled up. So here I'm going through stuff in my wardrobe to see what I could easily get rid of. I've got two lovely brand new suits that I bought three days before lockdown um, for COVID. And uh, I've never, ever worn them. And now I think they're probably too small, but I, I can't part with them because of the amount of money I spent on them. And that maybe I will fit in them eventually. <laughs> so you can see all the suitcases piled up there. And there's clothes that we never, ever come to this wardrobe. Never. The only time I come to this wardrobe is if I'm going to a wedding or going to a funeral. And then I go and have a look to see what's in here. And things have changed so much, haven't they? So whereas I used to wear a blouse and a skirt or a dress for work, uh, now you can just go in really. This like don't have to go in with the same level of smartness. Things have changed so much. So you'll see here, I'm piling everything up on the bed. Those two plastic containers are full of fabric. Oh, you can see I've got dust all over my leg. Um, there's things from holiday. Lots of things need sorting. There were some things that I bought, and I, I bought them for myself, and I got spares that I then sold. So I was looking through that. There's a vase there, which I don't really like. I thought I could give that to my guide coffee sale as a raffle prize. Um, so I do quite a lot in here, really. And then... I then went out for the evening and then this is now today. So I was sorting out uniforms, so my daughter's guide uniform I was putting away. I like to try and keep things in their bags. So where I've got guide uniform that goes back in the bag and I do encourage my daughter to do that. But the problem is she gets home so late on a guide's night, she's just exhausted. Um, so that's one of the reasons why she's not put that away. Um, and then uniform all needs to be put back, sports clothes need to be put back. Um, and I was just sorting through some things on the floor. And I was looking at these cuddly toys. So these some of these cuddly toys are quite new. 
but they were all things uh, that I decided couldn't go in her bed. She got too many toys in her bedroom. I just wanted to clear stuff out. So I decided to go into her playroom and have a look at what she'd got in the puffy. Now, then I discovered that because she'd wanted to get a toy in the puffy, she'd literally emptied the puffy out, got the toy she wanted and just left it there. So I went through and just picked out all the things that I felt could go to the charity shop. The things that I felt like she could get rid of. And then when she finished her Italian lesson, I then asked her. And there were three toys out of all the ones I picked that she did want to keep. Um, but I was pleased at the m number we'd been able to get rid of. She then did say, oh, can I look through the puffy? I want to check the puffy. And I was like, no, I've just sorted it. Um, we've taken, I've taken loads of things out and also I've put these toys, the fairly new ones, into the puffy. So I knew that if we started going through the puffy again, she'd say, well, why are those ones in there? I don't want those in there. So it's quite good that I was able to get a number that she was quite happy to get rid of. And a couple of them are quite big. So I was pleased with that. Then I went through some schoolwork that we were given at the end of summer last year from her last year at junior school. Um, and managed to get rid of quite a lot of that. There was some also uh, on the left on the little table, a sort of a little plastic box, which is full of paperwork and maths books and English books that she worked hard on through the year, but also through the years, but also some which have been partially, partly filled in and they've still got, you know, life left in them. I hate putting things in the bin. So I did just message somebody that I knew has got a little girl of about five years old and she said, no, thanks. She's already got lots. So just trying to find somebody who might find them useful for their daughter. Sometimes people are funny about taking secondhand things, aren't they? Which is a shame. I'm not. It doesn't bother me in the least. Uh, but some people find that hard. They didn't want someone else's cast offs, I suppose. It's never bothered me. Um, so I went through all the pile of books and different things that my daughter had from her junior school. And again, there was lots that I was able to get rid of. So I've got a big pile of recycling and a big pile for the charity shop. So that's good. It's almost like if I did that every Saturday... I'd end up with a room that's got half as much stuff in as what I've currently got. So you'll see me go all the way through that. And then right at the end, you'll see me go through, um, just you can see the pile of what I'm getting rid of, which I know you like seeing. So I'll show you the pile of the stuff that I'm getting rid of. Uh, the only unfortunate thing was I worked for ages on this and my video cut off, can you believe? So that was a bit of a disappointment. The issue that I'm having at the moment is that I just haven't got enough storage space. Um, we've got this cloud system and the cloud is full and my phone is full. So then when I try to do more videos, it sometimes just hasn't got the space. I delete all the videos once I've posted them to YouTube, but I've still got too much on my phone. My husband said that I need a good sort out and to clear things. I was quite pleased that I was able to do this quite quickly because it does sort of bring up quite a lot of memories. Some of these things she was working on when she was like four or five. Well, the, the books I'm looking at at the moment were from last year. But in a minute, you'll see me go through that box that's on the little table in the corner underneath Winnie the Pooh. And um, there's loads of books in there that she'd worked on when she was like four or five and the little stars I gave her and little stickers and you can see her writing and how it's developed over time and how it's changed. And there are some things that, yes, I kept, so I'm not ready to part with yet. And there are other things I just thought, yeah, we enjoyed that. I know that we worked really hard. I know that she's done so many books and worked so hard over the years. I don't need to keep all the evidence of that. I've always done a lot with her at home because she's a summer born. Um, she's born right at the end of August. And um, I did definitely feel that at a very young age, though some of the children were like 350 something days older than her. And that makes a really big difference when you're three and four and five. And um, the expectations within our system within the United Kingdom, I think, are, are too high you hear some children in Europe that and they don't start formal schooling until they're seven, uh, whereas we start formal education at four years old. And a lot of children just aren't ready to sit down. So we used to do quite a lot of work at home because I just didn't want her to fall behind. And then when she got to about ten, um, the gap just seemed to suddenly 
go like vanish almost overnight so where there'd been like this sort of I felt like it was constant we didn't want her to fall behind then the gap just got smaller and smaller and smaller and my daughter kept working harder and harder and harder and um yeah that gap is is less noticeable the older that you get so that's good so I went through a lot there and then you'll see the final pile that I ended up with. So I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.